Hello students, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video we would be studying what is a module and we would be seeing one of the modules named the math module. We'll consider few functions of that module and then we'll be continuing that details in the next video also. Okay, so let us first understand what is a module. See, we have studied functions which are user-defined functions or built-in functions and we have also seen that there are uh, functions that are already provided by the Python programming language that are the built-in functions. Now, a module is a collection or a group of such built-in functions which are of similar type. So generally what happens is instead of directly defining and providing all the function definitions in a Python standard library or the functions which are of similar type which provide similar functionality are grouped together under a name known as the module. Okay. So for example, what do I mean by similar functionality? Similar functionality or similar type means like all the mathematical functions are grouped together. All functions which are performing uh, a random number generation and uh, such similar operations are grouped together in a different module. Similarly, there is a statistical module which only contains function definitions that correspond to statistical functions. Okay, so a module is a group of functions and those functions are generally of similar type in terms of functionality. Now, what are the advantages of grouping the functions, the built-in functions in modules, in a group of module, in a group of uh, uh, functions known as module? So, uh, first function, first advantage is the function reusability. So, definitely we have seen this point in terms of built-in functions also that when a function definition is already provided by the Python programming language, then you do not need to define that function you can directly use that function and keep on using that function multiple times within a program or across different programs so a common definition resting at a single place allows function reusability or to reuse the same definition different times okay the second point is better division of work and better management of large program code so what does this mean this basically means that when you are grouping functions that are of similar type, such kind of division is easier to manage, it is easier to debug and it is better to divide your program, your long program codes in such subsections so that you can have a better control of your program code. So in a, a big companies where the program code spans multiple files and the, each of these files are huge in size. So in those cases, you need to group together and clearly define uh, the sub parts which are providing a similar functionality and other sub parts which are providing different functionality but together they form a single program providing a single overall functionality so it is uh, leading to a better division and management of large program codes okay so another important file sorry another important point about modules is a module is just a normal python file that contains all the different function definition it will not contain any other program code so uh, whenever you want to create a module you just have to create a normal python file and write down all the function definitions that you want to be a part of that module okay now to use the functions that you have provided inside a module you need to write an import statement in your program so import basically means that you are bringing all the function definitions that are present in that module into your program and what do we, what do i mean by bringing those function definitions it is basically similar to uh, once you import a module in your program, it is basically like writing down all those definitions in your program. So, uh, whenever you write a function in your program code, you specify the function definition and then after specifying the definition, you call that function somewhere in your program code. 
but when you use a module you or you use one of the functions defined in a module you first need to tell the python interpreter that when you are calling a function of a module where can the python interpreter find the corresponding functions definition so you need to specify a line in the uh, before using the function of the module and that line is an import statement so import is a keyword and after import you write the name of the module which you want to use in your program i'll tell you the syntax of this very soon towards the end of the video so uh, keep in mind that you only need to write this import statement once throughout the program so uh, no matter where you write this import statement once you have written it in your program after that you can use any number of times the functions that are provided in the imported module okay now if by chance you are new to this python programming language or you are not aware of all the modules that are present in the python programming language you can use this particular command help followed by a uh, double quotes module in the round bracket so this will basically display a list of all the python modules that are present uh, that are provided for the programmer and this is the syntax of the command so you write the keyword help and it is actually a function help and in the function you pass this argument which is a string called module okay now as i just asked you or as i just mentioned that you need to import a module before using the functions that are defined in it so what is the syntax of that uh, to import a module you first write the import keyword and then you write the name of the module that you want to import so you can either import one module at a time or you can also import more than one module at a time in the same import statement so if you want to import more than one module in the same statement you need to separate the names of these modules by commas okay so you can write any number of modules in the same import statement and this statement would what would basically tell the python interpreter that uh bring up in the program that you are writing bring up bring all the function definitions that are present in each of these modules because any of these functions can be utilized in the program so you need to bring all those function definitions and make them a part of this uh, program so they won't be ever visible to the programmer but they would this is a back end operation that the python interpreter would perform but since a module that has been defined in a python programming language can be huge because it not only contains multiple python function definitions each of those definitions expands a certain lines of code it is uh, each of those function definitions can be quite extensive and long so generally we do not import complete modules unless it is very necessary what we do we import only part of that module or we only import that particular function from the module that we want to use okay we'll i'll let you know how we can do this towards the end of the video or maybe in the next video this is done using another keyword called the from keyword but before that suppose you have uh, imported the entire module using this import statement now how will you use one of the functions that is defined in these modules so to use a function defined in any of a module that you have imported you write first the name of the module followed by the dot operator then you specify the function name and you specify the round brackets this will actually call the function so this is a function call statement when you write the definition of a function in your program you just specify the function name and specify the round brackets but here you will be specifying the module name dot and then the function name so as to tell very clearly to the python interpreter that from which module this particular function should be invoked okay so in the next video we would be studying in detail about one of the most commonly used module which is the math module of the python programming language 
it contains different mathematical functions like length sine max min and so on okay so stay tuned to our next lecture also we meet in the next video mind your exam